Welcome to this episode of Game Changers from Shanghai, China. During the past 20 years, China has been in a high growth mode with a build out of infrastructure and export industries, much of it financed by the government through state owned enterprises. Today, China is shifting part of that growth strategy to the startup community, bringing together the key components and removing a few obstacles necessary to develop its own version of Silicon Valley. We'll start our discussion with William Bean, the Managing Director of China Accelerator in Shanghai, who will give us an overview of the operations of this accelerator. So China Accelerator is the first accelerator in China. We took the Techstars model out to China in 2010. We're a founding member of the Global Accelerator Network, GAN. So we get the same perks as all the other Techstars accelerators around the world. Uh, but we're in China, so a long way from Silicon Valley. How are things here in China specifically? You're opening this up to uh, roughly 10 companies per, per batch, per batch. Uh, two batches a year. Yeah. So uh, the accelerator model did not work. A lot of guys opened up accelerator in, early in China. Mm -hmm. Culturally speaking, it wasn't a fit. But we're global. Our program is in English, okay, and we're cross-border. So for your audience in Silicon Valley, we help companies in the U.S. and Europe Perhaps not go global from day one, but do global from year one. Come into China, come into Asia. So we're the landing pad. So a lot of our companies are a bit later stage than most accelerators take. A lot of companies not only have product, but they also have traction revenue in their home markets. And we're bringing them out to Asia. And we do that for Chinese companies as well. We help Chinese companies go out to Southeast Asia, go out to the U.S. and Europe if there's a fit here. The issue that many U.S. firms, many startups have when they come to Asia is the same issue that the large internet companies had when they came to Asia. So Google failed in China, eBay failed in China, Amazon's failing in China. Every single major internet company in the world that has come to China has failed. There's many reasons why. What we do is, for on the startup side, we take a lean startup approach to building a China presence, mm -hmm. small team, product market fit, mm -hmm. uh, and then we accelerate and grow the customers and the business, build a business model within the context of China. Mm -hmm. Is there a sector focus here at this particular uh, location? So we run global internet uh, right. from China. Uh, okay. Areas of expertise, uh, I've covered uh, travel. B2B is pretty big for cross-border. Education, games, uh, especially mobile games. We do uh, at commerce and then social. So it runs the gamut. Yep. I think the key thing is what we're trying to do is bring uh, some of the business models that can work from the US and Europe into China and the other emerging markets. Uh, so China is the largest mobile first, mobile only market in the world. Uh, six, seven hundred million mobile users, mobile internet users. A lot of the innovation uh, around mobile is coming out of China and then going to the other five billion. Mm -hmm. So in the US, you have companies developing for the first billion, you know, for the people who learned and then first encountered the internet on a PC. Mm -hmm. Well, in China, people first encountered the internet on a mobile. So a lot of times what's built in the US and Europe does not translate particularly well over to China, Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe, South America. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can tell quite quickly whether uh, what a U.S. company or European company has developed makes sense in the emerging markets, in the mobile first, mobile only markets, and then we can bring them here, help build a team, um, build a model, and then accelerate through to uh, to growth. Mm. So it's the landing pad. Yeah. So you're, you're really finding the, the right entrepreneurs from different parts of the world. They're not just Chinese entrepreneurs. They're from all over the world. Yeah. So I would say yeah. uh, nine out of ten are not from China. A lot, are a lot are returning from other countries. Yeah. So in the last two batches, we have three companies from Hong Kong, a company from the UK, two companies from New York, a company from Canada, a company from Chile, mm. uh, and then, a, and then the rest, you know, another five or seven uh, from China. Um, it's a very international group yeah. with a, a lot of uh, talent from around the world. Right. And the interesting thing is, that, and not on purpose, but uh, we're probably have the largest female representation of any accelerator in the, hist in the, in the world now uh, and back through history. Uh, so we have 50% uh, female CEOs and a majority of co-founders who are female. SOS Ventures then is 
also providing funding to the companies coming through the accelerator as they start to go out. Yeah, so yeah. we're the accelerator VC. We're a VC yeah. uh, that runs five accelerators plus right. some one off. Uh, so the idea is that uh, we like a traditional Techstars type of program. Mm -hmm. We fund the teams coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, we give them a program, three months, working in our offices with our 105 mentors. At least for China Accelerator, we have 105 mentors. Mm -hmm. Same for the other programs. We have a demo day. We introduce them to the fundraising uh, public, the angels and the VCs. Mm -hmm. The key thing was we lead uh, some right. deals. We follow in a lot of deals. Mm -hmm. So, so far, uh, last batch and this batch, we're leading uh, or following on about half of the companies that come through the accelerator. So there's a manager, managing director, uh, Sean O'Sullivan. That's the SOS. Okay. Uh, and he was the founder of uh, Map Info uh, in college. Took up public in the late 80s. Sure. So he's been investing since 1996. I started bringing oh, partners man. on seven or eight years ago. Now there are five so partners on SOS Ventures. Each partner runs their own accelerator. So we go by uh, focus area as opposed to geography. I run China Accelerator and we're global internet. Then we have Hack Accelerator, the number one hardware accelerator in the world, based in Shenzhen and San Francisco, run by Cyril Ebeswire. Uh, we have two biotech programs, one in San Francisco, uh, Indie Bio US, and one in Ireland, Indie Bio Europe, right in the middle of their first batch. And then Foodex in New York, getting ready for their second batch. All part of SOS Ventures. All part of SOS Ventures. Okay. We're really interested in who you are and the problem you're trying to solve. Not necessarily so interested in your product, but love to see it. But again, what, what problem are you trying to solve? Why are the team to do it? And then how can we help you take your uh, platform or product or service to the world? How uh, we're not looking so much for uh, uh, something that's super focused on just, say, the U.S. market. But companies that want to go global from year one, those are the types of applications we'd like to see. I want to wish you every success going forward, and uh, we'll follow, follow up with you in a few months, see how things are going. Great. Wonderful. Thank you very much, and uh, you know, uh, come back to China anytime. Will do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.